Welcome to the garden. Today we're going to have a quick look at drilling brass because this is an example. But if you're in the fridge trade, what happens when everywhere's shut? You need some way to get your manifold set onto this quarter SAE fitting, which is this bit. May or may not have Schrader, but you can take them out. And you've got the access stem there that goes into whatever it is that you want. Now, all your bottle fittings and stuff have always got brass onto them. But of course, you've got ones for normal refrigerants, you've got ones for flammable, you've got ones for like CO2 and stuff, nitrogen. They're all slightly different. And you're not going to have the one that you want, and it's going to be half six, seven o'clock on a Friday. Everyone's already left, the workshop's all shut up on whatever site you're on. And you're going to be stuck doing anything to get it working before you leave for the day, because otherwise, the whole thing's off for the weekend. So you end up with a brass fitting from somewhere that you need to get that into and then you braze it in and you need a bigger hole than that to do it really. But what happens when you get a drill bit on brass is that you'll start to spin it and it doesn't matter what setting you put your drill on, it'll bite into it. All the brass work will try and nibble on the drill bit depending on which way you look at it. It doesn't really matter because the result is the same that either way you drill what's the word clutches out and then you get the bit stuck in the work and then when you pull it the drill comes off and even if you do this with machine tools you get the exact same thing and it it can can be quite tricky to get a decent brass cut but what you need to do get yourself a sacrificial quarter inch drill bit if you're a fridge person and you want this bit because these are always quarter inch pipes get yourself a file then what we're looking to do on the cutting edge of the drill it's not going to focus this little cutting part of the drill here now what you need to do to this bit is to change the rake angle and I mean, hard to see, but if you imagine an axis going that way down the center of the bit, this bit is angled like that into it. And what happens is either, say, that, that takes a bite out of the brass and you get stuck, or the brass has a nibble on that and you get stuck. The result's the same. What you need to do is to make it like that so that your rake angle is negative. And the easy way to do it. Where does this go? That spins this way. So, cut the edge. The file goes that way over work, so we need to drag it back. Just take the edge and just run it up the file. Don't have to do it many times. And then the other side. You can probably just about see we've taken a little bit of material off both the cutting edges. And what that does, giving you a negative rake angle, is prevents it from biting into the brass. So now when you go for it, in you go. And you can take your brass out of whatever it is, whatever fitting it is you've got to drill that evening. And you'll get the job done for the weekend. And then you can go back and do it properly on Monday. It's all she wrote.